sex trafficking. Gates now facing a House Ethics Committee investigation as the first member of his own party is now calling on him to resign. NBC's Ali Vitale is in his home state of Florida tracking all the developments. Ali, good morning to you. What's the latest there? Good morning, Kristen. Congressman Matt Gates back on his home turf and in front of a friendly audience last night, making clear that even as he's mired in scandal, he's not backing down. And I'm not going anywhere. Florida Congressman Matt Gates defiant and doubling down in the face of allegations that he was involved in sex trafficking and that he had sex with a 17-year-old girl. And I won't be extorted by a former DOJ officials and the crooks he is working with. The truth will prevail. Headlining an event for a pro-Trump women's group. I take the words of Margaret Thatcher to heart. If you want something said, get a man. If you want something done, hire a woman. Gates, speaking the same day the House Ethics Committee announced it had opened an investigation into his actions not just on sex trafficking, but also over allegations he showed nude images on the House floor and misused campaign funds. The congressman's heavily pro-woman message comes after a Gates associate, Joel Greenberg, was arraigned on an array of charges this week, including sex trafficking of a minor, which drew the Fed's attention to Gates. Federal prosecutors and Greenberg's attorney telling the judge they expect to plea and not to go to trial. I'm sure Matt Gates is not feeling very comfortable today. Gates, a close ally of former President Donald Trump, has hired attorneys and an outside PR firm to manage the scandal. A spokesperson telling NBC News, Gates will fight back against the unfounded allegations. Gates has not been charged with any crime and has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. Still, calls for him to leave Congress, including from Republican Adam Kinzinger, who says Gates needs to resign. And while Gates deploys the Trump playbook, doubling down in the face of scandal, Republican allies have been hard to find. Female staffers in Gates' office said they never witnessed a hint of impropriety. However, the statement did not include their names. Even Trump has been subdued, offering only a reminder of Gates' denials. Gates taking it as a clear sign of support, blasting out a fundraising email asking supporters to help Trump and I fight back against another media hoax. And guys, Gates is not just taking a page from the Trump playbook by calling these allegations a hoax, but also in the legal strategy he's taking. He hired one of the same lawyers who also represents the Trump organization in ongoing criminal and civil investigations ongoing now.